Okay, when we left off yesterday, I was lonely, cheated, and misunderstood. <laughs> I got everything put away in the RV, and I took it over to storage. So here we are with an empty driveway and an empty driveway. I was definitely frustrated with everything happening yesterday, but today is a new day. We're going to start out positive. I'm not going to work on any of this stuff today. I have a lot of other little things that I need to do today. One of those may involve this package that was just delivered this morning. And what this is, is big 24-inch interlocking rubber floor mats that I'm going to be putting in the basement in place of those giant industrial floor mats that I have. Because these are just rubber here, the other ones are rubber and like a fabric, so when they get wet down there, they get wet, and now I have to drag them out and power wash them in the driveway. So in the slight chance that it ever happens again, we'll have a rubber floor down there that just will get wet and it'll be much easier to clean. And with that in mind, I will tell you that, well, I took up my red carpet here, so that the plumber could get through. And they did come in the other day, and we got all this problem taken care of. The guy actually went down with a camera 100 feet out, all the way out to the road. There were tree roots all the way through the line, so he took a cutter, ran it all the way out, cut out all those tree roots, and everything is good to go now. There weren't any spaces in the pipe that actually were broken. It was just where they connect that the tree roots were coming in. So I do wish there was a tighter connection in there between those, but it is what it is. Um, my insurance covered it. I didn't have to pay anything out of pocket. And that is one problem taken care of and off the checklist. So right here in this area right here is where I'm talking about putting that floor, that blue interlocking floor. And yes, I chose blue so that it would kind of, I don't know, brighten it up in here a little bit because we usually have these dark mats down here. These are the ones I need to take outside and power wash. Going to be doing that today and then getting these, I don't even know what these are. These aren't even really rugs. They're so cheap and generic. I'm going to be putting these down in that place and getting rid of those. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this office. This is just preposterous. <laughs> I have got to get down here and get this cleaned up. I got this in the mail yesterday from Amazon. It is an ankle support because if you guys remember, I hurt my ankle when I was digging out that front uh, walkway thing there. Pretty sure I fractured a tiny little bone in there because that's just how it feels. There's nothing they can do about it. So I got one of these so I can put it on there and hopefully heal that up very quickly. And I believe this package is, yes, Happy Camper for the RV. That's the stuff that you put in the black tank to keep the stink away. <laughs> and just to give you a little update on the hot tub, I did call them uh, yesterday, I think, about the issue with it uh, tripping the, the breaker. Right now, everything is working good. We were in here last night, chilling out. That's a weird way to put it, chilling out in the hot tub. Oh, my scum ray has come loose. Hello, sir. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so this is working fine right at the moment, but the issue was that when the water raises high enough, it will trip the breaker. I have no idea why I've been trying to figure it out, but they're gonna come out here on the 19th and figure it out. And luckily that is covered by my warranty. So I think I had to pay like, I don't know, 100 bucks for them to come out here, but everything else is covered by the warranty, whatever they had to fix. So that is a good thing. Go back to your home, scum ray. It looks so weird to not have the RV over there. Anyway, hang with me today, guys. We're just gonna do some basic things. Um, work on a couple things that need done, and um, I'm just going to be filming throughout the day. All right, brace on, ready to go. All right, lovely lady, what do you have in store for the day? I have to get my nails done today, and the closing of on my house in Burbridge. Oh, that's right. Yeah, exciting. Yeah. Ooh la, moo la la. Cha-ching. <laughs> <laughs> All right, first thing we got to do is go to the... Uh, post office. I haven't done a fan mail Friday in weeks. 
All right, that's a little manageable handful. And I have one more bigger package at home. I'll film that today and have that up this Friday. Excuse me, Mr. Lightning Bug. First of all, it's daytime. Second, find your own Hummer. All right, next up, Home Depot. There's something in here I want to look for. Back here in lighting. Ah, maybe right around here. No, that's just all bulbs. I think what I want is over here. So I'm looking for lights like these for the basement for that laundry area. The ones I have in the back of the basement are kind of like that small one on the bottom there. There, they plug in and then on the end yeah it looks like this is the same way on the end you can connect them end to end okay so this one's four feet and it's linkable and it is 20 bucks these over here are three feet and they're 10 bucks but do they link no they don't if they linked there would be a plug on this end of it so all of these you have to plug in individually where this one you can plug them in end to end. All right, five ought to do it. Let's just grab a little code red here. Ah, oh, still here, I see. This guy must be holding on for dear life as we drive down the highway. Okay, flowers are all watered. Rugs are all scrubbed and power washed. These two are almost dry. These two are going to hang there for a little bit and drip. I should have washed this one while I was at it. I'm going to kick off these grungy wet shoes and work inside for a little bit after I drink a little bit of my uh, Code Red. <laughs> Man, those rugs are heavy, guys. I had to lug those things up from the basement. All right, that looks much better with the blue floor over there. This wasn't too bad to put in. It just interlocks all the way around on all four sides. And then there's like strips that make up the edges. I had to cut a couple in half over here to fit in this area. And I actually do have one and a half left. So if I wanted to make it come up all the way to the bottom of that shelf, I could. Um, same thing over here, but I brought it all the way to the shelf. Just cut these to fit along there. And that was $119 on Amazon. All right, little break, and I'm back down here. I think I'm going to work on getting this cleaned up, the rug back out here, and clean up that atrocity of an office back there. All right, well, that's about it for me for the day. I do still need to go outside and pull those uh, uh, those carpets out of the driveway. But I did get the theater room here all cleaned up. Got a couple of things over here that need to go to storage. And I got my office cleaned up pretty good. These stupid posters... This thing falls down all the time, so I had to add some more Velcro to it. But there it is. Looks a lot better than it did earlier. Time to shut down for the night. I gotta go out and get those stupid things out of the 
driveway. And I'll take these things to storage tomorrow. Yeah, these have been sitting out here all day, so they should be dry now. Yep, pretty good. All right, there it is. Got them all rolled up and brought in the garage. I'll take them downstairs tomorrow. And I'll hang those lights in the basement tomorrow. My lovely wife is over here preparing our coffee for morning already. <laughs> Would you like to say goodnight to the people? Good night, people. <laughs> <laughs>